Hey everybody, how's it going? John Boy here with episode number five of the Garden Vlog, I believe it is. And today uh, we're going to be doing uh, some semi-transplanting of uh, some of our plants. Uh, as I'll show you here in just a second, some of our plants are outgrowing those little pods that we started them in. And uh, they need to be moved and I'll give you an update on some of the stuff that we did transplant very, very early. Uh, now, unfortunately, that stuff is not looking like it's going to survive. Uh, you'll see why here in a second also. So those I think I'm going to have to scrap. And like I said, learn from my mistakes. Don't do what I did. And I'll tell you exactly what I think I did wrong. And uh, so you can learn from my mistakes. So let's go ahead and take a quick look uh, and an update of what's going on with our seedlings. And then we'll move on to transplanting them uh, into slightly larger containers. Okay, so first off, let's start off with the good. As you can see, a lot of our plants are growing. Uh, they're growing quite healthy and large. Uh, if we come over here first, and pardon me because I'm working in very tight and closed spaces here. These are all of our pepper plants that we got growing here. Some of them are slightly larger and doing a little better than others. So, you know, looking pretty good here. And if we move over to here, we have our broccoli. Uh, some tiny little ones down in there. Where are you at, little tiny one? Let's zoom in on you. Some that are just starting to sprout and poke their head through. Uh, even though it's a little late, but hey, late, late's always good. Better late than never. Some that we got that are growing quite large. Like this here for our broccoli, and then even... You know, we got this one here looking good. And then we got some that are even really tall. Let me move my broccoli there. There we go. Look at how tall that broccoli is. I'm sorry my light's swinging in the way. I'm trying to hold it out of the way as I can. And then we got our one black versage. Look at how high that thing is. Look at those nice green leaves that it got going. And if I come over the top here, we have our other black versage. Let me see if I can move around the side here a little bit and give you guys sort of a side angle. Yeah, we got our one black versage here, and we got our other one growing here. So those are looking nice, healthy, nice, strong roots that we got going there. And finally, if we come around, we're going to take a look at our snow fairy tomatoes. And we can see, and I'll try and move my light out of the way as much as I can. I'm sorry here. This whole front row starting from here I mean look at look at these leaves where's my finger at there it is look at these leaves on these snow fairy tomatoes look at how nice those are I mean look at this look at how nice these are growing all these snow fairy tomatoes I mean that's awesome right so that's good you know and those are uh, some of these larger ones I mean the smaller ones that we have you know, like this one here for broccoli, we're probably not going to transplant. But these ones that are, you know, getting quite large and long, uh, we're going to transplant those today. Now for the bad, as I said. And the bad is our cups. I mean, look at that. Let me move that out of the way. Look at all that mold that I had growing in there. And I made a mistake. And this is why I got the mold and what I told you guys to do. I mean, you know, don't always listen to me. So if we look at the bottom of this cup, let me hold this up here, what do you see? Or what don't you see on the bottom of this cup? I forgot to put holes in the bottom of my cups. I didn't realize that I did it, I thought I had holes in my cups, but I made a mistake and I did not put them and they got waterlogged and they got mold. Now again, you can save these, you know, if your plants are doing good, but I mean, you know, look at how thin and strangly this is compared to how nice and thick and green and lush these branches are. I mean, there's just, these are no saving these. I mean, I even got weeds. Look, I got weeds growing in my plants. And like I said, look here, this is another one. I mean, it just doesn't even look right in the color. You know, it's not really doing all that great. So these ones, I think I'm going to have to call a loss on these plants. But... I do want to tell you, I did tell you guys before, we can save some of these plants. Just because you get mold doesn't mean that it's bad. I mean, this is another black versage, or one of them, 
Now the, the uh, stems aren't very strong, but the reason I'm picking these tomato plants um, to uh, try and save is if you look, let me see if I can zoom in real close here. If you look when you have your tomato plants, you see all these little kind of spines. Oop, I'm blurring there. You gonna come into focus? No, you can't focus that close. Come on, there we go. Okay, you see all these little spines that are coming out of here? If we cover this with dirt, these little spines will actually turn into more roots for your tomato plant. You know, all the way up. So what I'm going to do on this one is, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clean all that mold out with a spoon. I'm going to puncture some holes in the bottom if I can. So in order to give it the proper drainage that it needs. And we're going to see if we can save this plant. Because, I mean, if you look at the leaves... They're looking like they might actually do some good. I mean, the stalks aren't as thick as the other ones, but we got to try and save this. So that's what my goal for this plant. It's one of the ones we're going to save. Now, I'm going to go ahead and transfer all this stuff actually over to a little workstation uh, where we are going to save this plant and transplant most of these tomatoes, all the snow fairy tomatoes, those other two black versage tomatoes, you know, and I'll even show you something here real quick. I just forgot. But look at these roots on this black versage tomato. And you can see how they like broke through. And it actually, if I zoom in over here, took over this broccoli that uh, wasn't growing. And tried to embed itself in there and tried to find more soil and more nutrients uh, out of it. So these things, if you start seeing roots like this out of yours... You definitely need to transplant them into a bigger container. So that's what we're going to do today. So let me go ahead, hop over into my little indoor workstation area that we're going to be doing this. And let's get to transplanting. Okay, so welcome to my little indoor work prep area. Uh, it's literally just the top of my freezer chest, but it's probably the flattest and most space that I have downstairs to work in order to do this. Uh, so what uh, we're going to do... Uh, first off is I'm going to make sure that I don't do what I did last time. Um, I do have three cups of soil uh, ready to go here for my plants. And as you can see, I got holes in the bottom this time for drainage. So for the other plants that we're going to do, and I'm only going to show you uh, the one broccoli, the one tomato, um, another broccoli, and a reason I want to show you this one here. And then we're going to try and fix and repair this uh, black versage tomato. The first thing, like I said, you want to do, you can use a nail if you want to use a nail. If your strong, uh, cups are strong enough and you've got a sharp nail, you can just take a hammer and poke some holes in it. But you know me, I love my trusty drill. It's really quick. Uh, you know, like I got four cups stacked here. And all you have to do is just start it up. And it goes right through all four. Now I'm putting four holes, you know, north, south, east, west, or however you want to describe it. Like I said, you know, four holes. I think that should be enough drainage for a cup this size. And we're going to use these. I'll plant all the other ones later. So I'm just going to go ahead and set these aside for now over here. Because I'm not going to be using those at the moment. Always make sure you got your trusty marker. Because since we're transplanting these out, I'm not going to have my little grid anymore that I had with my papers. So I need to know what I'm planting. So always make sure you have yourself a permanent marker. And the first thing I'm going to do is that we're going to start working on this black uh, Versage tomato. Now, if you look in here now, you can see there is no more uh, green mold inside this. I just went, took a basic plastic spoon, uh, scraped out, and made sure that I cleaned every little piece of black mold out of there. I mean, not black mold, uh, of that green mold out of the black Versage tomato. Um, I have a little bit of extra dirt here. So the first thing, before I fill this up too high, and I'm hoping this will work, so you're going to be here with me, because if I totally fill, you're going to find out. I need uh, to get some drainage, because if you remember, I'm just going to kind of hold my plant here. I didn't put any holes in the bottom, and I think that's why I got the mold that I did. So I'm going to try and screw up from underneath here, and see if we can't put some holes in this thing. Yeah, it looks like we might. And... Okay. That went a 
lot easier than I thought. Now we have our drainage. Oh, let's clean that off. And that one. <laughs> but now we have our drainage. Hopefully we won't get any of the mold in that. So the next step that we want to do with this, like I said, um, if we add more dirt where these little spines are coming out, and I don't know if you can see in here. Let me see. Can you see right here where it looks like it's broken? I don't know if I got enough light in there. But we had these, uh, when I planted these when they were uh, way too small, um, I had little breaks in these, and they've, they look like they've kind of healed. Uh, so, again, we're going to attempt to salvage this plant here. I'm just going to go, I got a little bit of extra dirt, and we're going to fill this almost all the way to the top. Oh, wow, this is a little clumpy. Let's get our hands in here and break this up a little bit. I fill this up all the way to the top, so I'm going to put half on this side. And then I'm going to move my plants over. Put the other half on this side. Give it a little shake to smooth it out. And just something I like to do to kind of hold the plant in the middle is uh, tap down the soil around it just to give it a nice firm base. Plus you can also tell if there's any uh, low spots in your soil because your soil will settle. So if you look here, like this is nice and high over here. Let me see if I can turn this. This area here is nice and high, but this area and it's a little low, so I'm going to add a little bit more soil on this side. And just give it a light little tap. And we'll see how these grow. You know, we'll, we'll see if we can save these. Um, I have this labeled Black Tom for Black Tomato. But I'm going to take my permanent marker here, and I'm going to add a star on the bottom. So that I know that this is our star that we're trying to rescue. So that's one done there. Now, moving on, uh, we're gonna do the same thing I did before um, with the mold. Now, let me see, no, it was this one. I wanna make sure I grab the right one. Now, if you look here, and I'm hoping you, I'm hoping you guys can see this, I got a little bit of green right here in the mold. I'm hoping that my light isn't uh, overpowering that green. So we're going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to take my little spoon here, and I'm going to scrape along the outside of this, trying not to destroy the roots. And we're just going to lightly, let me check to make sure there's no other mold. And there's a little bit more right there. And no mold on the top. So again, I don't know if you could see before, but now... There's no uh, no more mold. If, you, if we would have planted this with this mold, this would have infected the whole thing. And we don't want to infect anything with that. So that one's ready to go. That one's now clean. Here's those roots I told you about with that black versage. I mean, look at how nice and look at, how, look at that nice purple color underneath on those leaves. I love that color. But these roots are going insane, so this thing is definitely ready to be transplanted. And I told you I had that one tall broccoli. I mean, look at that root structure. Look at that. Look at that root structure. That's awesome. And like I said, you can just take these and you can plant these right in the dirt with this. You don't have to worry about taking these uh, wrappings off. So when you want to plant these, and you're going to plant these a little different between the broccoli and the tomato, I'm going to show you you're going to plant these a little different on each one. I might have to go get some more soil. If I do, eh, we'll worry about that later. So just take your cup, make yourself a hole um, just about as deep as your uh, tomato plants are. So I made myself a nice little hole there. Or tomato, look at me, broccoli. We're planting broccoli. This is broccoli. This is not tomato, this is broccoli. And we're gonna set that down in there so it goes just underneath the level of the soil. And then we're gonna push that down a little bit further. Get that nice and deep in there. And I think I'm gonna end up having to cover this with a little bit more soil. I don't think I have enough in this cup. Again, we'll tamp it down. go there we go we transplanted our broccoli looking good now you anytime you transplant it you will want to water it and you have to watch what kind of soil you're using now the soil I'm using is an organic type of soil that has uh, like worm castings in it and stuff uh, it should be good for growing uh, as a growing medium to get these plants really you know strong roots and ready to go um, but I do know that this is a moisture holding 
soil. So check with your local garden supply store or wherever you pick up your soil, your bag soil that you're going to use. Because if you have a moisture holding soil, you don't need to water it as often or otherwise you'll end up with the mold I did. Or just make sure maybe you have a little bit of extra drainage at the bottom. Now the tomatoes you're going to plant a little bit differently. Um, you're still going to go and make your hole like we did. But if you remember, like I said, when we added the extra dirt, anywhere that you have dirt on these stems, you will have roots grow. So even though we got this nice, big, thick root stems here, I um, want to plant it down to about your first set of leaves. So this is the lowest set of leaves, so that's about how deep I want to plant this. So the deeper you plant it and you get that going, the better the root structure you'll have. Uh, whenever you go to move these outside. So I got a nice deep hole and I'm gonna push this way down in there and I know I didn't I didn't super fill this cup up because I knew I was probably going to need more soil which is why I brought this in so let's grab our extra soil and like I said I don't know if I'm gonna have enough here but we'll see maybe I will maybe I'll get lucky Let's try and move these over because again, I don't want them growing sideways. I want them growing nice straight up and down. And let's go ahead and add. Well, that's all the soil I brought with me. Maybe I'll have to add a little bit more. Let's see how far. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to add a little bit more. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's get these nice and tamped down and looking good yeah now as you can see this is where my roots are or I mean my last my first set of leaves oops sorry this is where my first set of leaves are right here and I can't quite get a good angle on the camera I'm sorry but uh, their dirt's pretty close to the top there so I think I'm happy with that I think that's uh, close enough again I'll give this a nice good drink of water and uh, get the rest of this stuff planted make sure I don't have any of the mold or anything going on it now I do want to say one other thing uh, once you see that good root structure and uh, your leaves how do you know when to transplant your plants so if you look right here and you see this leaf here this nice straight leaf that's its beginner leaf I call it you know the first first set of leaves that come out when your plant sprouts out uh, Usually there's two of them, so there's you can see there's one here on uh, this plant. There's another flat one here, and there's another flat one here. Again, you know, two on each plant. There's another one here. Now, you can see what are called true leaves. Now, you see this leaf here. Let me come up a little closer. See how these leaves look different? And is that a bug or a dirt? A piece of dirt. I thought I had a bug in my plant again. It's like every time I record, I get bugs in my plant. Um, these are what you call true leaves. Now, when you start to see these true leaves starting to come on your plant, you know, these nice purple leaves that we saw, that's when you also know that you can transplant it. And you're also probably, if you want to, if you're going to use something like a miracle Grow, um, you can start putting that in. Now, I wouldn't use a uh, full-strength miracle Grow. Uh, it's going to be a little too much for a small seedling like this. Maybe do it half-strength, quarter-strength, I, I'm probably going to do quarter strength just to see how it reacts because uh, if you do put too many of the stuff like a miracle Grow, uh, the minerals and everything that are in it um, you could actually overdo this and you could end up killing your seedling um, you know adding too much is definitely not a good idea so uh, I'm gonna go get these watered the first time and then in a week or so uh, if these need watered again then I'll start adding my miracle grow to my water my uh, quarter strength miracle grow uh, once we get outdoors then we'll do full strength miracle grow so that's it for transplanting and I hope uh, you all learned uh, something interesting here with the transplanting just remember one cut your holes in the bottom of your stuff or you're gonna get mold uh, two, your tomato plants, if they're high enough, you know, make sure that you uh, put your soil as high as you can, closest to the original leaves, uh, and that way you can get an extra strong and good root structure. And three, make sure that uh, your plants are free and clear of any mold themselves uh, from your seedlings. So 
I'll go finish up all these. I think there's about 10 or 12 that I need to do in total. And we'll come back and wrap everything up for the day. Okay, so I got everything that I wanted to get uh, planted in. I uh, got all my uh, black Versage tomatoes here. And the broccoli here in the middle. Ooh, my hand's screwing with the lights. And we got our three black Versage tomatoes here. Now, I did water these, and I'm looking at one thing. So if you water, I actually had this dirt pretty high. It was actually somewhere up near about here. But once I watered it, you can see that it drops. So once this dries, maybe in the next day or two, I'll add some more dirt. You know, if you see that you're getting soil drop in your cups, just go ahead and add more dirt. It's not going to hurt. I gave these literally just a splash of water because I had watered them um, yesterday uh, when they were in the uh, pot, like over here. You know, I had just watered them yesterday, so I don't want to overwater these again. Uh, I want to see how they drain. I'm looking down here in between. I don't know if my camera can get down here or if you can see it. Mm, I think it's too dark. Uh, maybe if I back it off just a little. Yep. Maybe. I don't know. I can't tell. But there is uh, some water drops down there. I don't know if you can see it on that video. But, uh, you know, so I do know that my system is working. Here we go. My uh, system is working with the holes being cut in the bottom. So hopefully that will prevent any uh, of the um, root rot or the uh, uh, mold from growing. Uh, these plants here, my broccoli, I didn't really want to plant these. I want these to get a little bit bigger. And as you can see, I still have the original leaves on my peppers. And uh, like I said, you know, when you only have these original leaves, uh, you don't want to transplant them until you start to see the true leaves coming up. So maybe in the next episode, like I think I can see like right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. My light is moving again. Let's stop that. But right, come on, focus. Focus right here for me. There we go. Right there, I got a leaf starting to form. That uh, might be a true leaf starting there on that one. So these will be soon. Uh, again, like I said, the peppers definitely take a little longer to do. So let me give this a flip here real quick. That's pretty much what's going on. I uh, hope you all enjoyed uh, this episode uh, with the transplanting of the uh, tomatoes, trying to save the one tomato, and um, getting the broccoli transplanted. One other thing, since I am reusing some of these cups, I uh, just want to show you here. I decided to take and make uh, popsicle sticks with the names of the items on it uh, because like I said I did reuse some of these cups and so what I wrote on the outside is no longer going to count. It's whatever you see on the stick is what I'm going to be using there for that. And one other last update. Um, I looked through and things that you know I, I know my wife wanted uh, to eat. Sugar snap peas. We went and bought some sugar snap peas because the uh, rareseeds.com, the where I get my seeds, um, Baker's Creek is what they're called. Uh, their website is rareseeds.com. Um, they had a free shipping deal, so we got some sugar snap peas. I think that's here we go, sugar snap peas. And because you know I like my hot peppers. Oh yeah, Carolina Reapers, hottest pepper in the world, one over 1.5 million Scovilles. Um, the Carolina Reapers, I'll uh, go and buy some more of those uh, pods uh, to stick those in. And like we did when I showed you, you know, getting your seeds planted episode. Uh, the sugar snap peas, uh, I think I'm probably just going to plant those directly, sow those directly in the ground whenever we do our other peas. Uh, but those will probably be container and these I'm probably going to do in the container also. So anyways, I thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something here today. If you did, hit that like button. If you really did, hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all next time. Keep growing, and I'll catch you later. Okay, so time for a quick little update on our plants. So uh, at the end of the video, last time I had... Uh, transplanted those plants into those red solo cups so let's take a quick look now that it's been a few days and see what progress that we've made okay so they seem to be doing pretty well at least most of them do uh... not really seeing any like leaf shrinkage or uh... anything going on but what i am seeing 
and you can kind of see right here, like you see right in the middle there, you can see the old uh, mesh netting right there. I'm getting some sinkage in the soil. Like you can see how deep in this cup that that soil sunk. And then you remember this is the one black Versage uh, tomato. And I had a, the soil all the way to, um, to the leaves, you know, here, these first leaves. And you can see how much that sunk, almost like uh, an inch and a half to two inches there. Same thing here, you can even see, whoops, come on, like, there we go. You can even see right in the middle where uh, the soil's sitting high, where the uh, stems are coming out of the plant, but you can see all around that it's sitting a lot lower. So, like I mentioned in the last one, you may have to come back, you may have to add some more soil. Um, I'm going to come over the top of my light here real quick and give you guys a little picture here. And this is the one that I had start off that had all the mold and all the broken pieces. Again, you can see, even on the roots, let me zoom in here if I can. You can see where the dirt's actually sunk, you know, about a uh, half inch down those roots. So I'm going to have to go ahead and I'm going to have to add some more uh, soil to a lot of these containers. Just to make sure that, you know, it has enough soil. Especially those tomatoes. Because like I said, with the tomatoes, um, you know, wherever you have the soil, you know, so if I put the soil all the way up to here, we'll have roots growing this extra couple of inches. On that plant but if we do take a look at this plant and you look at these leaves now those were the beginner leaves to get things started but even like here on this I'm seeing some yellow over here I'm seeing some yellow you can see this is starting to turn from a green to a yellow I'm thinking that I'm not getting enough nutrients in here and since these do have the true leaves like I said these are the starter leaves and these are the true leaves um, I'm going to go ahead and start fertilizing these plants with miracle Grow. I just want to make sure that it has enough nutrients to get through. Um, still a couple of weeks before we can get these planted in the ground. Uh, we haven't had our last frost yet. But most of these seem to be doing pretty well. So we'll get some more soil in here. And we'll get some more uh, get some fertilizer with the watering. And uh, make sure we keep up on those. Hey, I mean, look, look at this. Like You see where that water line is? Right here on this plant. That's how much the soil has uh, dropped, you know, just in that container. So, going to have to keep an eye. Like I said, as the soil settles, you know, you can always add more soil. That's easy. If we come and look at our uh, seedlings, you can see that our broccoli is growing pretty nice. A lot of them even got this one to sprout. Uh, let me see if we can come over here. This one's sprouting pretty nice. So, hopefully those will come along. And we got a lot more of the true leaves of these peppers all over the place starting to bloom like even look right like here we got two and in the back here we got a whole bunch of these true leaves starting to form so those are looking pretty pretty good uh, again I didn't expect the peppers to be going as much uh, or to advance as much so no surprise there the other thing that I gotta start thinking about especially with you know our uh, one thing here the reason this might not be getting enough nutrients well you see we got three nice big stems so I'm starting to get to the point here where I'm going to have to kind of choose on a lot of these plants. Let me see. Like, you know, we got one, two plants, maybe, uh, yeah, maybe three on that. I'm going to have to start coming through and deciding which one of these uh, stems I want to keep and which one I want to start cutting. Like, even with the broccoli back here, you know, we got uh, two stems coming out. So I'll have to decide which one looks stronger and start trimming the other one. This is a trimming process. It does suck because you never really want to kill any of your plants, but if you don't do something, you could end up losing all of them. So uh, that's the update on the seedlings.